the initial reason that we kept Blue's DUI private was because it's it's I don't want the whole world to know. About it's it. a private issue, mm -hmm. and what happened that night should remain in privacy. But since Brady already said something, I figured we should definitely yeah. come clean and, and let everybody know exactly what happened. Um, I'm not proud of it at all. And yeah. Brady was none of your business telling the whole world about it. I, I mean, we was going through a lot then. I'm not making any excuses for her. But Daniela did just leave, and it was um, really hard. She just and left. And kind of went on a binge. I mean, I, I did my best to control it, but thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't. No, well, I'm. You know, I'm glad that I could be there for you. Now everyone's gonna know, and everyone's gonna think bad of me. No, come on. Everybody knows you have a drinking problem. <laughs> now they know that you're gonna be a responsible drinker, or not drink at all. I'm not. Now you know you you're not gonna be able to drink and drive because you're not gonna be allowed to drive. You know, it's like a punishment. You could see it as a blessing in disguise. You know, Not now really. Now the whole sober. world knows. And then, what if I can't get no, a job? And be able to get a job. No, I'm everyone's gonna look that. at me as an alcoholic. No, and you know, you get a job I was down just the going street. Through you get a job at a restaurant down the street. You can walk, and I'll pick you up at night. Okay. What if you can't pick me up? I'll always be there for you. Thank you. You could call a cab, which you should have done that night. But that, but don't worry. Don't worry.